today I just woke up at 5.30 to come to university and I walked a one hour. The bus loop at the University of the Fraser Valley, empty, like the rest around the city. And for this student who needs the buses to get around, it's tiring. He just arrived from India two months ago. Kind of, I don't have much friends, so I can't afford also to get like private cars and Ubers and stuff. He says many of his classmates are also struggling. Usually we have like 24 people in that class. And yesterday it was like 12 of us. It's really hard for some people. For Jonathan, it's nearly impossible to get to school. His bus to Simon Fraser University didn't show up. My attendance in class has kind of been going down. My ability to get uh, the class of time for tests and whatnot. So just my education has kind of been affected. So he called on a friend to give him a ride. It was just kind of uh, uh, make or break. And amongst the most vulnerable, those without a home to call their own. The bus is a lifeline and not having it is causing major hardship. So I'm at the shelter here and it's pretty full right now. People tell me that, you know, they don't have any other choice but to wait and to stay here for the three days. Or for some of them, it means walking for a really long time. And it just shows you how many people are having to rely on transportation here. They need to get to critical appointments. Some have jobs to get to. Stephen does home renovations and his tools are heavy and lugging them around hard. It takes me from the job that I'm at right now about 45 minutes each way walking. Right. And when you got your tools with you in that too, it makes it a long walk back. Charles Honeyford is in a similar situation. Well, I'm going today to the other end of town and it's going to be about an hour and a half walk. But I'm old and I like to, the exercise, but it's, it's a little too much. As some wait, others walk and try to find other means of transportation. Residents here hope to see a resolution, but for now, Bus stops like this empty, with no answers. Beneath Breach, CBC News, Abbotsford. To that statement now, First Transit, which is the employer in the labor dispute, says it submitted an offer it says includes significant wages, wage increases, quote, on par with trends across the province, as well as structural improvements to enhance service reliability. It says it's hopeful it can reach a negotiated settlement with the striking workers.